It's the Come Town Christmas Spectacular. It's this, the most. It is December. Ring, ring, Shut ring, the ring. fuck up. It's uh, don't interrupt me. What the fuck is your problem? <laughs> that you can't Both just let us? me talk. No, I just start talking immediately. You're gonna talk over me. Ring. I did. I'm I was, sound effects. I, was, I, I, thought I you don't were understand what the fucking problem is that I can't get two words out of my mouth before you immediately start talking. <laughs> I thought me. you were done. Uh, why was I? <laughs> I, I just said <laughs> a one. You know the name of the podcast. Come down Christmas. I said, Shut the period. fuck up. <laughs> Shut up. Shut the fuck up and wait. Just count in okay. your head. Literally count five seconds and fe- feel how long. All right. Feel how long five seconds of silence probably is to you. <laughs> it's okay. Count it. Right now? Yeah. Count out five seconds in your head. You see how long this is? You see how much talking I can do before you've interrupted me? That's how long it is. Uh, okay. I mean, that's all it would have taken is fucking <laughs> is just five seconds to get some kind of context or understanding I, of where the conversation's going or what's gonna. Fu- I could have had a bit prepared. I don't, but I could have. <laughs> I fucking totally could have had a thing I was going into. Uh, uh, I, I mean, Jesus Christ, dude. Like, I'm, you know, it's funny because people listen to the show and I'm the one that gets insulted for being, you know, autistic or whatever or being yeah, on yeah, the spectrum, yeah, yeah. which, you know, is probably true. Yeah, yeah. Sure. I probably bit. am, you know, but at least I can understand fucking social cues. What's your excuse? You're just rude. Me? Yeah, you're just a fucking rude person. Are you in a bad <laughs> mood right now? I'm actually in a pretty good mood because I've decided I'm going to buy PlayStation. <laughs> was that a bit? Which was the big announcement that I was, hopefully we could, you know, get to in a fun way. <laughs> well, no. Now I'm... That now I've blown the surprise for everybody. Dude, that was, was the good. first 20 minutes of the pie. We were going to tease it. Yeah. Um, Going into the first break. This is the Christmas Spectacular. We got a couple of plugs to do up front, as uh, longtime listeners know. Um, I don't like to brag about it, but I am a uh, tier one, uh, uh, you know, black ops operator. <laughs> I was a 9 11 first responder. I was there <laughs> in the towers seeking out, you know, Muslims and terrorists who survived the crash and eliminating them with tactical, uh, <laughs> close quarters tactical combat. And uh, the thing that keeps my hands warm. You know, while I'm um, yeah. uh, pulling the life directly out of the lungs and souls of uh, Iraqi children, right. is uh, North Face uh, E-tip gloves. <laughs> I bought a pair, and they're great. Yeah, they you can still use your phone. I know a lot wow. of a lot of a lot of gloves advertise that you can still use your phone. You know, while you're getting uh, mm-hmm. directions from the Pentagon <laughs> right, right, to a family's right. house. To end their their you know, how does end it, that family line? How does it once do with blood? All. What's that? How does it do with child's blood? Does I bring my own blood. Oh, nice. Yeah, there's not enough. I, I it, I've gotten so used to killing that the right. normal amount of blood that comes out of a human being isn't enough for me. So I have to bring extra blood. In uh, just to feel something. Yeah. Just to get that murdering a child, Iraqi child yeah. rush. So, um, if you've been listening to Chapo, you probably know that I purchased an enormous TV. <laughs> um, yeah, this is so tight. Have you guys been here for the TV? I yet? haven't been. This is the first, my first time. This is yeah. insane. It's great. Um, I've been a complete piece of shit the last week. I've done yeah. nothing but sit in front of this TV and watch movies and get into like a just a real deep fucking depression. And I like really just can't stop uh, thinking about wanting to kill myself. Nice. And, I'm wasting my life or yeah, whatever. Yeah, yeah. And the solution. Uh, but you just keep watching more movies. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You just keep watching them, dude. You buy all the subscription packages for Amazon, and then each one you're like, oh, I'm going to. Now I have so much more stuff I can watch. And then you watch one movie, and then you you get, you know, really fucking upset with yourself. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I've been watching so much Sopranos. I'm trying to finish it so we can have a Sopranos app. Yeah. Uh, so in the background, we've put on. Uh, I already forgot the name of it. Some. It's a John Travolta movie. It's a John Travolta. You know what? I don't know. This is probably not a good idea because we had something on. I just sat here while they did the last Chapo. Uh huh. And they put on. Uh, I don't know. Fucking. Uh, like Rumble in the Bronx or something. Oh, nice. Or. I don't know. I was just watching TV, and then they right. put stuff on. So I haven't seen this movie. I was hoping we could put on something dumb, and then we could uh, maybe laugh at it. But. Uh, there's no way I'm going to be able to have a conversation and watch the movie. <laughs> and Adam's already not paying attention. So that's backfire. I'm not not paying attention. I'm just... Um, I just wanted to see what happened. Just 
I'm just insulted personally. Why? From, from your from you taking me to task <laughs> in public. <laughs> he hasn't even the listened to anything. The show. That's the, the only time. place it matters. Is <laughs> no, in you're public. depressed. You got a big TV. You're depressed. You watch TV a lot, and you're you just uh, you've and Stav's trying to watch Sopranos. I've been listening to the whole thing. I'm a great listener. That's something that people compliment me on. Actually, is how good of a listener I am. And uh, no way. And yeah. And and uh, and you just know how to look like you're listening. Yeah. You're thinking about I'm, li- I'm I'm listening. Whatever's going on in this, your head. You you listen to people long. If it's an attractive woman, you'll listen long enough to figure out where they're from, mm-hmm. and then you'll throw out one tidbit about where they're from. It's true. I had a good one <laughs> the like, other day. Oh yeah, from no. Where, who? I met a girl from Sing- Singapore. <laughs> Yesterday, yeah, Very it's illegal to spit there. I and said, they go, illegal. "How do you know that?" <laughs> I said, "It's illegal to spit there," and she said uh, that she thinks it's really annoying that that's what everyone brings up when she says. <laughs> <laughs> Is it really illegal to spit there? Yeah, yeah, that guy got caned. That kid. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Got caned. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He Are was like an American sp- student in Singapore. Got caned. You can't. You just can't just for spitting. Yeah, it's like a thing parents say. Well, you know, in Singapore, you can get. We've caned never heard for that. that. Can't you fuck like prostitutes? Don't people go to Singapore to fuck? Isn't that like kind of like Thailand? No, I think uh, all those places they have. Uh, yeah, I don't know, know anything about. Various, si- I, mean, I think Singapore various iterations of boy, Thailand. Boys yeah. Yeah. I think they fuck. Um, no, Singapore is like an. Uh, it's like a city state. It's like a really small country. Is that where um, Chris Brown got arrested? Do you know? Maybe uh, for biting Maybe the Philippines for biting Rihanna. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I don't yeah. know if that's illegal in Singapore. No, that's legal. I used to that get a bunch of hate mail from Singapore for writing that article about China. Oh, really? Yeah. Are they Chinese over there? There's, uh, a, there's a lot of ethnic Chinese. There's a lot of ethnic Chinese, a lot of Malays, a yeah. lot of... They uh, got mad at me for writing South, that thing about South Chinese South. New Year. Oh, and yeah. And they would send me hate mail. It's like, you will go to jail for this. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what was the you thing you wrote? It's something about how, like... Uh, Chinese New Year isn't real, right? Yeah, no, it wasn't that Chinese New Year wasn't real. So Chinese New Year is like an, a month after regular New Year's. Mm-hmm. So I wrote, like, it was like one of the first things I wrote on Thought Catalog. It was like, so are we just not going to tell Chinese people that New Year's was a month ago? <laughs> 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 and, uh. Yeah, weren't like Chinese people threatening to come to your oh, shows? Oh, yeah. Oh yeah, Chinese. The Chinese and waiters are the groups that hate me the fucking most. You do you still get emails over that waiter article? Yeah, so many people hate me. That's true. It's really true. Some of them but are you know, in this room right now. Yeah. Uh, it's like it's one of those things where you can you can be like, yeah, well, fuck the. If you're not pissing people off, you're not doing something right. And it's like, well, plenty of people don't piss people. Off. Yeah, plenty of people. Plenty of people successful. have no problem yeah. just <laughs> being likable. And uh, who said that quote? What's if that? You're not pissing. Is that Mother Mother Teresa? No, no it was yeah. Darth Vader. Darth Vader. <laughs> yeah, Dude, he's a bad if boy. Fuck the haters. If you're not doing, hand me one of those candies. It's a cookie, dude. Uh, These aren't yours. This is from my allotment of cookies. Yeah, I got you your own too, dude. Yeah, well, I lost mine already. <laughs> you didn't lose yours. These are from Stav's mom. I put my, right. I lost Shout out to Stav's mom. She made us some beautiful baked confections. Shout out to Lil V. Some Greek. Uh, These are incredible. The, it's very good. The brown ones will suck your cock, dude. Mm-hmm. I, I had some at your They're house. So dude. fucking good. Really, really good. Your mom's nice. She's the best, dude. Is, did you? Does your mom know you have a podcast? Um, sort of. And did she prepare these for your podcast friends? No, she just prepared them for my friends. I didn't tell her that it was my podcast no. friends. Did you? She doesn't really know what a my podcast mom, my is. My mom got both of you guys copies know? of uh, Norman Finkelstein's books. <laughs> <laughs> Especially you, Adam. Thank you. She got you a calculator. Does it add up to six million? It doesn't. It's, <laughs> Functionally, it's changed. So if you try to type in six million, it's just one hundred and fifty thousand. Yeah. It just says tops. Yeah. One. Yeah. It just says six At Jewish most. guys' like, names. It's like yeah. that. It's that Mister Show sketch. One hundred fifty thousand is the the highest number. Oh, yeah. Um, that's that so sounds funny. good. I've been laughing about like. Do uh, your parents know about the podcast? Uh, yeah, my parents don't really give a shit what I do. Oh, that's um, so nice. <laughs> yeah, well, I've been like such a fucking disappointment for so long, right? That mm-hmm. it's like you know, I'm not. A- I don't ask them for money ever, you know. So you're doing that. You're doing it, sort of. Yeah, I mean, you know, I mean, I don't fucking lean on them, right? Mm-hmm. So they don't really give a shit. When's the last time they really believed in you? you believed? I'm, I mean, they, I think they believe in me. They just have such low expectations yeah, that right. it's not, you know, <laughs> right. something I really have to worry about. Oh, that's so great. Yeah. 
No, I have like um, I have like stepsisters that like struggle and shit. So I'm like kind oh, of. Oh, so the bar is low as hell. Yeah. Oh, that's mm-hmm. nice. That's great. So as long as you don't just have like a fucking three kids out of wedlock or some shit. Yeah, they're not doing that bad. But I mean, you know, it's just it's fucking the economy's shitty, and if you don't particularly know what the fuck you want to do. Yep. Yeah. You know, and like none of them can like borrow money from like enough money from my dad and, you know, his wife to like, you know, they can't be like, I need five thousand dollars to go start my business or whatever. Mm-hmm. You know, they can't do that. So they can just sort of continue living at the apartment. Damn, right. I would love to start a business, dude. Just have I want to be a fucking I want to be like a fucking diner. I literally started this, a business. Dude? This is a business. This is a business. <laughs> I started the business. I employ you. You're I'm incapable of inst- I'm executive starting a business. Vice That's why I had to do it. Yeah, well, I'm president of the union. I'm executive That's vice fine. president, dude. We won't have any fucking union that's in here, dude. Wait, you're I'm a anti company union? man. Yeah. <laughs> I'm a company man. We'll get a scab in here yeah. so quick. Dude. This is bullshit. <laughs> I thought we were starting a union. Sorry, dude. I sold you out. Man, I've been just, just Mr. Like, Mullen you just gave like, me a sweet deal. You just like bargaining. <laughs> of course I, I do. And I like bargaining. doing collecting. I like collecting and I like bargaining. <laughs> <laughs> I collect stamps and rare coins and I bargain. I say I give you five cents for that dime. <laughs> that dime is worthless. Trust me, I collect rare coins all the time, pal. I'm telling you, that dime is worthless. So I'll give you five cents for it. Uh, That'd be a cool character. The guy oh, that yeah. convinces, you know, a Jack Lemon guy that hangs out in the Dunkin' Donuts in Grand Central and convinces people to sell him their change <laughs> for less <laughs> than it's worth. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, That's a I, long time. I tell you, I've seen plenty of quarters in my life. <laughs> now, this one is worth... Yeah, this is what he do. I'll give you. I'll give you a dollar for that quarter. But these other these other ten quarters you have are worthless. So I buy them off of you for, for a nickel. That's not a bad con, dude. Yeah, yeah, I just do this all day, and that's that's what they call me the artist of Forty Second Street, <laughs> the beautiful we, artist of Forty Second Street. We just I've been I've been standing on this corner for ninety seven years. <laughs> I've made almost four hundred dollars. <laughs> I've been out of here since eighteen twenty three. My father was a shipbuilder and my mother was a prostitute. <laughs> we should do a fucking three card Monty game, dude. Fucking start a scam like that. Old school shit. Yeah. You know? Or have like a fucking what what are some cons we could get into? We could pretend you're lost. How about why did every homeless person always say they needed like a a bus ticket to like? I wish I was a con man so bad, dude. I could never fucking. I I just. I don't know. I couldn't pull it off. I would just be too happy about the con. <laughs> I'd be too excited to get their money. Yeah. I wouldn't be a good enough actor. Yeah. Have you ever fell for any cons? Have I fallen, Have you fallen for, for con? any cons? No, I could see through them immediately. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I've dude, also no- seaten one time in fucking D.C. And Seton's not like a dumb guy. No, he's smart too. You know, and you think he would have a little bit more street smarts than this, but some like fucking bum was like, You want this Dell laptop? It's seventy bucks. And it was like a Dell laptop box. <laughs> and Seton was like, Yeah, and he like gave the guy seventy bucks <laughs> and then they don't even open they take the box all the way back to the venue and they open it up, it's filled with a bunch of newspapers. <laughs> And it was like Seton and like I think Andy Haynes and Jay Hastings like running down the street. They're like, "Have you seen this fucking guy or whatever?" It's like, first of all, don't do anything to that guy right, if you can. Right, right. Get your money back, but don't act like you're gonna fucking beat right, up this right. homeless a man. A homeless guy who outsmarted you yeah, on right. a diet of like stale honey buns. Yeah, and yeah, yeah. Coffee he found. No, you absolutely deserve to have that happen. <laughs> yeah. If you get fucking ripped off, you probably deserve it by a fucking homeless dude. Yeah. By a guy who hasn't slept indoors, he fucking, he had more critical thinking than you. Yeah. I remember one time in Chinatown when I was like 14, we came up to fucking do like a, a tri- like a, it was like a Greek trip to New York and all these fucking assholes, there's like a group of, a group of my friends were just like fake like Wait, you were the kids. group of assholes. I heard Greek chip, trip to New York. Absolutely. No, no. We, yeah. But these kids were like the fuck, they were like, they were like, 
they thought they were like real. They just ran their father's diners. Mm-hmm. And they thought they were like mm-hmm. drug deal. They acted like they were drug dealers because they had like dads who spoiled them. Right, right. So they went to buy fake chains, <laughs> and they all got robbed. <laughs> they all got. They're, just, they're like, all right, follow me into this empty building. <laughs> they just followed some fucking guy into a vacant building, and they stole four hundred dollars from them. They were all going to buy fake. I I think it was G unit chains at the time. I think that's what was hot. And uh, nothing makes me happier than that, than just like fucking the shittiest Greek kids getting robbed. Although I do want a fake chain. I got fucking- What kind of fake chain? I got- I didn't fall for I just con. got fake Yeezys for $13. Right. That are just the, the bin Yeezys. I, I still sell uh, fake Pokemon cards. <laughs> I hang out at middle schools and stuff. How funny would it be if I, if I got arrested for doing that? <laughs> like I'm just in, in the fucking elementary school. <laughs> Hanging out in the bathroom, and the police show up, and they're like, what the fuck are you doing in here? I'm like, I sell bootleg Pokemon yes, cards. Please. I'm 30 years old. <laughs> this is fall. the only business I've ever known in my life. <laughs> um, fuck, man. One time a, a Chinese lady out haggled me. I bought a fake Gucci backpack, and she haggled the shit out of me. Dude, I ended up paying like $50 for it, and it was like... You know, a four cent backpack. It's so <laughs> shitty. The stitching's bad. The zippers. Oh, I remember work. that Gucci. I still backpack. have it. I'll still rock. You used to wear to it time. sometimes. Yeah, I yeah. love the Gucci backpack. I just, I wish I would have. Is Gucci a real? I mean, it is a real brand. Yeah, yes, real. it is. Gucci's like, it's supposed to be like Gucci. It's, it's black um, Gucci. Yeah. They just changed the letters around. It's like Kobe Televisions. Yeah. yeah. You see those? And like boom boxes. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's Where it's like just the Sony. Sony logo. <laughs> yeah. But it's Kobe. Yeah. Oh, uh, that's great, too, because it has the Kobe Bryant fucking undertones as well. Yeah. And so be Life Water. You guys ever fuck with that shit? Uh, yeah. I used, was... to get, I used to get cases of <laughs> Sobe Adrenaline <laughs> from Shopper's Food Warehouse. You just game? <laughs> No, I would stay up on IRC all night. Hell yeah, dude! Internet relay chat, folks. What is that? It's like, uh, it's like, you, you know, Slack. Yeah, Slack is like very similar to what IRC was. It's like early Slack. It, well, IRC is like the oldest chat platform. It came mm. out before before AIM, before even the World Wide Web. What? So yeah, I think IRC came out in like 1988. So what what part of your life are you using all this IRC shit? You're like 11 or some shit? Yeah, in between. I mean, even younger than that, probably like 9 to... <laughs> I mean, that's why I am the way I am. Yeah, well, I remember talking that, to. The this first is time, The first time I saw Goatsy, I was probably like 9 or 10 years old. <laughs> really? And I remember like turning the computer off and I like felt sick or whatever. Yeah, yeah, I like wanted to tell my parents and then... Uh, and then, like, two weeks later, you're just sending Goatsy to people. And <laughs> yeah. you're like, this is hilarious. <laughs> this is fucking hilarious. Dude, imagine show- how much different your life is if your dad comes in and counsels you in that moment. And it's like, it's all right, son. Mm-hmm. You have to stop doing this. <laughs> you're like a fucking, you're like a fucking uh, loan officer at a it, bank. It happened to my friend Brendan. He had Goatsy on his computer because he was, uh, so in uh, the old uh, Internet Explorer, like Internet Explorer 5 or whatever, mm-hmm. like, you know, 10, 15 years ago, if you highlighted an image, the way it highlighted an image was every other pixel on the image, <laughs> it would uh, shift, it would, like, tint, put a blue tint right, right, right. on the image. Yes, yes. So you could take an image and bring it into Photoshop and then figure out uh, how, like, what makes, you know, whatever shift every other pixel is blue... Right. You can counteract that a certain way or adjust the, the quality of the image that it like transforms when every other pixel has it. So he would he created this image where if you like highlighted it looked like it's just a blur, but if you highlighted it, it became goats. <laughs> oh, that's genius. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was wow, pretty cool. Wow. That's very good. Yeah. So he had Goatsy on his computer and he was like working on that or whatever. Yeah. And his dad, his dad went on his computer and found Goatsy, and then they like had asked him at dinner. They would like sit him down. They, he's like looked all sick, and he was like, "Are you gay?" You know? <laughs> I told the story before that happened to me too. My mom found Meat Spin on my computer. Did I tell you tell you that? No. Yeah, my mom was like crying. She's like, "Do you like jacking off to boys?" I was like, "What the fuck are you talking about?" She's yeah, like, I went on your computer and I, I saw something. I'm like, what the fuck did you see on my computer? Yeah. And then she was like, it was like a dick going into an ass. And then the other dick was spinning around. I was like, oh, meat spin. 
<laughs> I was like, no, you just send that to people. It's like a, you know, it's like a greeting card. A fun, yeah, it's like a fun little trick to play on your friends. Yeah, I'm current. I'm I got uh, unbanned from Facebook oh, for yeah. how long? Six hours? I know. I had a I had a 30 day ban, for and then the ban one, was remember? lifted. You, you I posted, there was like an article that was like, you know, saying Bernie would have won his victim blaming or whatever. Right, right. And then the article, it was like, white men, you need to shut the fuck up right now. <laughs> it's time for white men to shut the fuck up <laughs> and to fuck you. And if you're a fucking white man, ever fucking, because seriously, it's just, I need literally shaking right now to cry because you don't understand what it's like to so shut the fuck up. You know, like one of those articles. Right, right. And I, I was like, yeah, I guess uh, the great argument for why women should be able to vote is like... Right, well, I remember that. I yeah, said yeah. something like that, or, you know, or kill all white women or something. <laughs> oh, yeah, or so, kill yeah. all white women. Yeah, but kill all white women, it's obviously, it's like satirical. I mean, right, you can yeah, write yeah, kill yeah. all men on there all day long. And I'm not even like coming from a place complaining about like a double standard or whatever, but it's like, I'm not even saying... Kill You're all not, white women yeah. s- satirically. I'm making fun of the like, right? Kill, kill, well, obviously, you know. I don't know. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. whatever. But you know, fine. If they want to ban me, they ban me. But then I got back on and I was posting that video at this TV. So nice that you can see Christopher Lambert's balls in Fortress. <laughs> <laughs> and I've seen Fortress probably thirty times prior to this. Really? Yeah. I, never never seen... once noticed. Christopher Lambert's fully exposed balls. So you think he's fucking or is just dick sound? I think he insists. I think that weird Belgian piece of shit like insisted on being able to actually fuck, you know, That's in the bizarre. movie. You yeah. He, so you think that was him fucking? I think that was. I think that was Christopher Lambert wow. fucking. I mean, why? You, you know, what are they going to like? He's like, just make sure everyone can see my balls, but then we're going to figure out a way where my dick is like taped to my leg or something. She might be sitting on top of his dick. Like, on, why would they do that? Just because you, you haven't seen that in porn sometimes, like fake porns. I don't know. Man. Like, you watch all this porn? weird fucking porn for middle schoolers. <laughs> you don't watch adult porn. Sometimes I like to check out a vid where you know we've got a new fresh face in the industry, and she doesn't want to do hardcore, so she'll do who fake. I don't know, man. I'm on X videos. I'm scrolling. You can get soft core porn online. I thought you could only get that on TV. No, you can get soft core. Check really? this out, dude. I yeah. added Cinemax to Amazon Prime, so I can. There's soft core on there. You want to put it on? No. while we're doing the pod. No, I don't. Uh, how 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 porn crazy is it that they still do that? It's Playboy. They still, Playboy doesn't even do pornography they don't, anymore. They don't show boobs anymore. Yeah. So yeah. Cinemax is like, yeah, we got pornography and the Nick. Yeah. <laughs> it's a good show Yeah, it is a good show <laughs> Apparently I got this other one, Quarry, that's supposed to be real really? good Really? Yeah hmm. Fuck, man But I'm um, sorry you got banned for showing balls, dude Yeah, I know Which, But, you know, in the guidelines it says you're not allowed to show nudity Unless it's for, like, satirical or humorous purposes And it's like did you think I was like seriously posting Christopher Lambert's <laughs> balls for Wait, people you're to allowed masturbate to? Do it for to? That's what it said. I don't know. Someone's got a bone to pick with me right, at Facebook right. or you know online or something. Again, people just fucking hate me, man. Do you think someone's so someone just is someone's reporting, reporting me? Obviously, time, yeah. yeah. Someone's constantly fucking reporting my shit or whatever. Which think? is like, you know, I don't fucking, with the exception of like Seth, I don't like go after people. <laughs> I don't. Mm-hmm. I really right. don't, don't really fucking, don't. I really don't fucking harass people. I think exception. that's like mean and shitty to harass specific people. Mm-hmm. I might be critical of like a couple, like, you know, a couple of people that have like prominent media careers right, or right, whatever, right. but sure. it's not like I'm like saying go harass these people or whatever. Right. And still, it's just, you know, people get literal fucking jokes that they're getting mad at. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that is so funny. Like, exactly. What what non-joking purpose do you post balls for? Like, yeah. it's fucking unbelievable. Well, even that, like, even when, like, arguments come up or people want to fucking, you know, I'm not even, like, one of the people getting into heated arguments about, you know, shit that pisses people off. Yeah. You know? I don't I don't argue with people. I'll, you make you know, jokes. I'll make jokes about it. Jokes that, like, reflect my opinion or whatever. Sure. Sometimes not even. But, right. you know, you're like, well, we got to shut this guy down. Yeah, to get them kicked offline. Well, I just, I just want to have a good time online with my friends. <laughs> <laughs> I just you wanna, still have Twitter. You'll, you'll be able to show balls on Twitter. I just want to have a good time online with my friends, like I used to. Dude, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. that Zuckerberg stripped you of that. It's everybody. Man. So it's permanent ban. 
Uh, they want me to upload a picture of my ID to get my account back, and I'm like, I'm not giving you that information. <laughs> Why? I don't know. So they can send you to jail? Yeah, probably. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> That'd be so funny if Facebook just fu- the Facebook police comes knocks on this door. Whatever. Just, Facebook is washed, dude. Fit. I don't. I don't do it anymore. Yeah. You don't do Facebook, dude? No. A lot of old. I think like because my mom, because my mom and now. dad are on it, so yeah. I can't. I can't be a monster like I can. My on mom's Twitter. on there, fucking just like posting Greek pirated like whole movies. Oh, that's <laughs> chill. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> my mom's just like watching Greek soap operas with her friends. That's what Facebook is. It's for old people to have fun with their friends online. Yeah, yeah. They, they have a blast. Well, I'm old now. I guess I would love to just not be on. So I would love to just not have to be. On the internet. Mm-hmm. Unfortunately, I've completely destroyed any ability for me to ever have any kind of normal job. <laughs> <laughs> There's just n- absolutely no way ever that I'll ever be able to do anything other just- than be a piece of shit on the internet. Yeah. The quickest background search. <laughs> just like N I C and just auto completes into yeah. everything you've ever fucking done. Yeah. Nick Mullen, N word, Nick Mullen, racism. <laughs> yeah. Nick Mullen, uh, Hillary victim blame. I could uh, go back, dude. I'm about to go back, be a square, dude. I couldn't go back. Yeah. Why not? You really can't. I you mean, can't. I, I, uh, the, the goal is hopefully, you know, figure out what comedy and shit to make mm-hmm. enough money to invest and then live off, you know, your investment sure. money. But yeah. people will find a way to take that away from you, too. I can't qu- <laughs> wait to quit my, my day job and, and just be able to dress like a boy all the time, you know, instead yeah. of, you know. I'm about to start wearing fucking suits, I'm, dude. I am sort of a little worried, though, that, like, not being able to, having to go to work every day and take a shower in the morning and stuff. Oh, Yeah. Like, I just watched like nine. If I don't have that, then it's like terrible. I'm not going to bathe or. Yeah, I mean, I, I don't. The job, the day job I do have that I'll continue to do until yeah. they won't let me do it anymore. I don't have to fucking shower or bathe or do anything. That's the best part about being one of those truck PAs. It's mm-hmm. like they don't like it's like almost like a relief when they find out you're not trying to work your way up <laughs> yeah 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 that you're just like no i just want to pay my fucking rent yeah yeah you like uh the like boot boy i like, remember oh yeah boot boy is bad our old our old pal boot boy. yeah boot boy was trying to work his way up of course he was already he had already worked <laughs> his way up that last job I worked with you, Nick texted me like he's like I'm coming to pick you up, but they said dress like uh, you want a future in the film industry. It's hilarious! <laughs> yeah, like, what the fuck, dude? I remember when I was working. <laughs> yeah, it's Sherwood like, but Williams. I don't. And that's why they're like, yeah. dress for the job you have or job you want, not the one you have. And it's like, yeah, I don't even want this job. <laughs> yeah, I want to have. I want to pay my fucking rent and be able to eat food. So <laughs> the job I want is no job at all. Mm-hmm. So I'm I dress for the like job shit. I want, and that's why I wear a full football uniform wherever I go. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> nice. <laughs> that's cool. Pad. I just it's just going into work looking like Helmet. a train conductor. <laughs> yeah. It's like that striped Oshkosh <laughs> hat. <laughs> Choo choo. That's my favorite part of Supreme. Not my favorite. One of my favorite little details is that Bobby Bacala is a so train funny. guy. Yeah, so good. Wearing the fucking hat. Yeah, I should rewatch The Sopranos too. You should, dude. I'm on you season can. six right now. I'm it's, excited. It's it's the best show. Maybe ever, I'll do man. that. Maybe that'll be my Christmas Hanukkah treat to myself is to sit in front of my TV and just not move for <laughs> probably two and a half weeks. <laughs> just really start thinking about my yeah. life and how I'm almost thirty and. Listen, how, I, how even though it, I, I'm starting to have success, I just feel fucking worse. <laughs> you really do. Yeah, that'd be my nice present to myself. <laughs> you were you were uh, you were happier uh, maybe three months ago when you had little to no success. You know when the happiest I was in my life back when I when I got back to DC. And you're I was homeless, drunk all the time. Yeah. yeah, everything was fucked. Yeah, that was the best time of my life because there was too. no yeah. limits. <laughs> I was fat as shit. I was unhappy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was fucking. Yeah, I was like sleeping in my car most of the time, <laughs> mm-hmm. and like fuck. There was one I. Uh, I was in a failing relationship. I almost, when the girl was clearly cheating on me yeah. <laughs> with your best friend, with right. a guy she's married to. Now. <laughs> <laughs> the guy she's traveling the world with. Yeah. <laughs> I could show I remember, you. The I remember room. being in the the National uh, Arboretum one day, and it was they got like burritos there. Yeah, and it was like <laughs> fucking uh, na- the ar- ar- Arboretum. Yeah, 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 yeah. That was good. It was like the middle of winter, so everything was fucking dead. There was nothing to see. I was just walking around. It was cold, and I was extremely hungover. 
And I was like, this is the best day of my life. <laughs> I had literally nothing to live for. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, man. Let's get how into you, how, drugs. I mean, like, what... How, how do people... How are you... Are people successful? I don't get it. What do you mean? But it, it makes make me so feel much worse. Money, dude. Whenever things are, f- like, fine, then it makes me feel worse. Like, well, it's because like you have a fucking brain disease that doesn't let you... If your dream is, like, to write for... SNL, you know, whatever. Yeah. I feel like within the first week, if that was my dream, within the first week, it would just be my shitty job that I don't give a fuck about. Yeah. You know? Yeah. I'd like get there and then I'd be Yeah, that's super what happens. Sad. Yeah. That's what, I mean, yeah, that's what yeah, happens every step of the sure. way. You have all these dreams. Even if like, you even if you sell your own show, mm-hmm. it's not going to be as funny as you want it to be. Oh, yeah. Right, right, and they're going to take they're gonna take it from you. Well, even if they don't take it from you, you're never going to be as funny as you want to be. <laughs> right. You're yeah, never going to be as Because the shit that you like... And th- you'll never be as good as the shit that you like. I respect that Woody Allen thing of not he he doesn't watch any of the movies. Yeah, any of the seven thousand movies. That's actually that's made. Woody Harrelson. Oh yeah, Woody, yeah, Woody <laughs> Allen. <laughs> he hasn't watched Kingpin one time. It's a good movie. <laughs> never. He should watch it. No. It's very funny, dude. We I watched uh, Indecent Proposal. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. We see. Uh, holy shit! What a fucking hilarious movie. Yeah, it's really funny. It's the cucking movie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's about. It should just be called uh, the Cuck Master, <laughs> starring Robert Redford as the man who's best at cucking. <laughs> he fucking. He's like, uh, let me fuck your wife for a million dollars. He's like, absolutely not. No way are you gonna fuck my wife. No way are you gonna do it. And then she's like, I don't know. Maybe I can. He's like. Wah. Well, if that's what you want, <laughs> <laughs> who's not gonna fuck Robert Redford? Uh, honey, if that's too? if that's what you want, but you better not like it or whatever. <laughs> so then, you know, because they have to fuck, she has to fuck Robert Redford to save their house, right? So she fucks Robert Redford, and while they're like off fucking, Woody Harrelson is like just imagining them fucking, and he's like, Diane, <laughs> <laughs> Di-! like running after the helicopter. <laughs> he's just getting his dick sucked. He's just like halfway down this guy's wife's throat, and he's like, Diane, come back to me. I still love you. you know? It's gotta be. <laughs> and that movie just, is also full well, full penetration. It's like, and then yeah. you know, there's like this fucking dramatic music playing, and you're supposed to have all this empathy for this guy who's like, as if the worst thing in the world is that your wife is being you know violated by another man's dick and it's like so fucked up like if you really loved your wife you wouldn't care you no. know you wouldn't care that much no. to the extent where she's like ruined now in your head if it's yeah. like a consensual thing it's like yeah it's kind of shitty but it's a fucking million dollars who cares <laughs> it's a million no. dollars I don't like, want to know that some yeah. guy's fucking my yeah, wife yeah but you know he, I, when you going to make her wear a scarlet thing letter you, yeah, you had to like marriage. see her off and be like alright honey mwah, mwah. go have fun sucking off Robert Redford for the next I day honestly, if you didn't do it I wouldn't fucking care Maybe maybe this is a new know, masculinity man. thing, but I, if I really don't care if I'm seeing someone if they want to fuck someone. Yeah, I don't really. I either. don't really. Care. Yeah, I, yeah, I don't fucking either. Yeah, um, you don't care if they're fucking someone. If they no. want, if, if they they're they like honest, to, yeah. and they want the to. Fuck, yeah, who I don't, cares? I don't. I really could not give two shits. Stop. That's what um, I say to that. No, I would. I don't want my girlfriend to fuck people. That's my stance in general. Well, you're an alpha. I am. You're a real I man's. <laughs> <laughs> but you're like but you're, you're like uh, you're not an alpha though. Yeah, indeed. you're like a guy that doesn't fuck a lot, and you I'm have an like a complex about it, and that's why you have a problem no, with I'm, I'm the alpha. idea of your <laughs> fictional girlfriend fucking somebody else. No, I'm alpha. the girlfriend that you can't have. Mm, I'm pretty sure I'm alpha. Dude. <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty sure I'm an alpha. And yeah. if anybody tries to fuck my my fictional girlfriend, uh, I'll fuck them up and then fuck their girlfriend. He's a type alpha male, type two diabetes. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all got Literally. alpha diabetes. Yeah, I got that good the stuff fucking Tony Soprano's got. Yeah. That's the kind of diabetes <laughs> I got, dude. I've been watching so much Sopranos that I've just been yelling at people for no... Like, I've been thinking... Yeah. You forget... Your, his blood type is uh, o, o juice. <laughs> o ju? O ju. Yeah. Blood o ju. O ju. It's French, but yeah. Yeah, yeah. O ju. Yeah. It's instead of like type O blood. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's O ju. A little bit of a stress, but good. No, it's not too much of a stress. Give me a minute. I can do a better one. Keep talking. I'll think about it. All right. Yeah, it's but okay. yeah, I when you watch The Sopranos, you're just like, you flip the f- oh, like some cocksucker, dude. I was, I text you guys about it. I went to some, I went, I was supposed to do some, some guy just messaged me at like on Facebook and booked me for a show, and it was a bringer, and I was like, dude, I'm not doing a bringer, when, like I'm just not bringing anybody to do a show, mm-hmm. and I get there, and he's like, uh, he's like. How about how about this blood type mayo positive? <laughs> yeah, I yeah, like Oju. Oh, it was yeah. just the pronunciation. 
I don't know. I've never said that word. And, right. and you know what? The only time I've ever had it is at Arby's. Right. Yeah, when the with the dip sandwich. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I've never been. I've never eaten at Arby's in my life. It's good. Really, it's good. It, Arby's really? is uh, very uh, underrated. Much better than people think. Yeah. Why is that the go-to joke? Because like the, the, Simps- the Simpsons place. joke yeah, when they're on the island. Fucking retards. And I'm so hungry. I could eat at Arby's. Mm. Yeah. And everyone's like, "Wow." Yeah, that became like the fucking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's the worst fast food place? Um, Jack in the Box. They're all very good. Jack in the Box opinion. is pretty good. Yeah, I've never been to Jack in the Box. Um, I don't know, man. I honestly, Jack in the Box. This is, is going to be a hot take, but it's just because like they are all pretty good. But I think Burger King's probably the worst. I had. I, t- oh, I was saying I, might I had with you there. Actually, yeah, I had a I mean, great really Burger can... King the other day. I'm sure great experience. <laughs> Everyone was nice. Nah, yeah, they treated me. People right. like their fries. I don't think their fries are particularly good. Roy Rogers has the best fries. Roy Rogers, Roy Rogers is an idea gets I saved it. by... How about, how about this? This is an idea I have for a restaurant, right? It's uh, it's like Roy Rogers, same setup, but you go in and you're like, can I get a chicken bacon sandwich? And then the cashier will go, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> wink at you. And it's, and it's called Koi Rogers. Uh, that's that's good. pretty good. Mm-hmm. I, have, I had one where it's like you go, uh, you go in and you ask for a sandwich and the guy at the, uh, the register is like, he wins last comic standing, but he's not very funny, and that's called Joe Coy Rogers. <laughs> oh, he's from Vegas. Yeah. He's a better comic than you are. So, <laughs> nah, dude, I'm, I'm nah, an alpha. So, if a he better ever... comic than everybody in this room. Is he? Did he have like <laughs> Joe Coy? <Yeah. laughs> that's your stance. Is I, I think he's great. Does he have eyebrows? <laughs> I don't think he has. No, oh wait, no. Your... Is that? Am I thinking of Joe Coy? Am I thinking? Of, who's the other? Yeah, Joe Coy lost his eyebrows to Ursula to become a good comic. Oh. <laughs> That's how it works. She cast a spell to make him the world's best Filipino comic, but he had to lose all his body hair. Damn, dude. Someone, I was, I was thinking of Dad Fan. My Fox. mom, he didn't even yeah, win. Yeah, yeah, I don't know. What you're, <laughs> I, 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 just, I, I didn't know Joe Coy was on last comic. No, stand. I was thinking of Dad Fan. No, I Dad Fan, what Dad I Fan definitely. Coy. Although I don't yeah, know Joe if Yeah, Joe Coy is either. like a Chelsea Handler uh, crew, squad. squad Man, that, that Dad Fan thing where it's like uh, Patrice O'Neill and... Uh, on Tough Crowd where he just bullies him mercilessly. <laughs> it's so fucking good. Dat fan. Dat fan. Um, yeah. Uh, what was I going to say? Oh, I was in Vegas, actually. The reason I know Joe Coy's is from Vegas. My mom's like, your hair looks like shit. Go get a haircut. Mm-hmm. So I went to my mom's hairdresser and she was like, oh yeah, I cut Joe Coy's hair. And I was like, he's bald. <laughs> You're clearly lying. <laughs> right? so I love when people think they met a celebrity and it's clearly not. Yeah. I, I was talking about the, the Wild Boys one time. Right. With this girl, this girl, oh, in, love Texas, them. This girl in Texas that was a I great used to show. hang out with. And she, this girl just, you know, she was like 24, loved drinking, was a, like a musician or whatever. Mm-hmm. And she was like, yeah, I was actually like hanging out with the Wild Boys the other night. They're like, you know, we all went into the jacuzzi together. It was like pretty cool. And I was like, you met fucking Zivo and Chris Bonius? And she was like, nah, it was the other ones. <laughs> I was like, so you didn't meet the Wild Boys. This bitch just got <laughs> DP'd by yeah. two fucking yeah. guys <laughs> with long hair. Who told her yeah, yeah. that they were the Wild Boys. Yeah. Some she guy, like, she yeah, saw sure. some guy getting his rac- his dick bitten by a raccoon. He was yeah, like, no, nah, yeah. I'm a Wild Boy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then they, you and know, it's a good, a good lie, which I don't endorse this. You shouldn't, you shouldn't lie to pick people. You don't up. lie ever. Uh, you, that's part of your autism, right? I, I'm just not good at it. Well, you you like tell truths with that when you shouldn't tell them. I, I guess I don't you know. If that, rather, lie. I don't know if that means that I'm not a liar so much as it means I'm just fucking rude and I don't you know, <laughs> yeah. know when to censor yeah, myself. Yeah, uh, but uh, yeah, that's like that's it when people are like. Remember when people used to say brutal honesty? Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. It's like, just, yeah, no, that's just, you're just rude. Being a dickhead. You're just yeah, a yeah, fucking just idiot. a cunt. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you make very uh, boring, cliched observations about the government is actually bad. Yeah. That's brutal honesty. <laughs> It's brutal. It's uh, like a metal guitar riff going yeah, off. That was like a very MySpace comedy bio. Oh yeah, sort of thing. Yeah. Oh, we should find. We should name. We should search brutal honesty. Is there any way to go through bios and see <laughs> how many how many times brutal honesty comes up? Who is the big MySpace comedy guy? Dane Cook. Dane no, Cook. it wasn't Dane Cook. It was fucking uh, Steve Hofstadter. Was he? Mean, Cook. Yeah, no, it was Steve Hofstadter. First of all, is he a con You guys man? weren't on MySpace comedy. No, I was. I wasn't doing so. I've been doing I was this for the twelve last, years. I was for the last gasp of it. Yeah, no, it was Hofstadter. You would go to like the rankings, and he was number one. You'd be oh, like, really? who the fuck is Steve Hofstadter? Yeah, he was the guy that like gamed it somehow. He was way up in the rankings. And He's then like after a con him, man, after right? him, it was yeah. Mencia. Mencia was number two. 
Mm. Uh. People forget how popular Carlos Mencia was. But Dane Cook did fuck around big time off of MySpace. That no, him, what made Dane him. Cook big was his mom died, and he got like a, an insurance life insurance settlement. And he mm. spent the forty thousand dollars, like having, like paying like a web guy to make him a fully featured website with like forums and chat really? rooms. Yeah, and he built an audience like huh. online. Interesting. So he'd go do a show and he'd be like, "Hey, you know, sign up for my forum or whatever." But he was one of the first comics to have like a big online, mm-hmm. you know, sort of thing. Which is like, it's crazy now that this is ten years later and comics still don't understand that that's so much more important than anything else. Right, right, right. No one is going to fucking hand you a career in comedy anymore. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Or go to an open mic and discover you. Right, yeah. No, that's not going to happen. Or even I mean, a bar the, show. What you, I mean, you should still do open mics and sure, bar shows, sure, sure. but like your, your goal in doing that should be to meet somebody that's better than you that's going to bring you on the road with them. You know? Just get better. Yeah, because you really, I mean, you're not, I don't, I, don't, I don't think New York really makes you as much, uh, you know, it gr- helps you grow as much as working the road does. I mean, of com- course. comparing the two, yeah. I think I, I, I learned a lot more about stand-up just by being a road feature. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know? Well, then you do like, what, like 10 sets a weekend, you know? No, not that many. No, you do six. At six a Six or seven at most. But you're doing 20, between 20 and 30 minutes, yeah. so it's a lot of 30 time. minute spots, yeah, you're talking about, you know, six hours of uh, stage yeah, time. that's invaluable. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And you can try and fuck. That's yeah. why stop shit is popping right now. Yeah. But, I mean, the most yeah, important but- thing is, like, because comedy, co- stand-up comedy, the art of comedy, like, what your goal should be isn't, like, writing good bits. I mean, obviously, try to write good bits. Right. Mm-hmm. You know, but the goal isn't to, like, have just a good joke here or a good joke there. The The art, like, what you should be trying to create is the hour. The hour is what makes something, but it's, like, good comedy. You know, you're right. going to release an album, it's going to be an hour long. If you ever have any kind of special, you should aim for, like, an hour long sure. special. Right. And the only way to write good hours and have... Because I, I really don't think anything under an hour, it really feels like you did anything, you know? Like, maybe you can be funny, but, like, how do you get a sense of some, uh, who a comic is mm-hmm. without the fucking hour? Well, that's what, that's pers- what creates, like, the personality, you know, and the and the character. Right. You might be able to do something in a half hour, but I know what you're saying. It, the, yeah. full, the full yeah. effect and the full arc. Well, the half hour is also dampened because it's mostly the feature spot, and the feature is the most forgettable, uh, you right. know, person on the show. Right. Um, so, but, like... If you you get Conan, that's five minutes. Yeah. You get Presents, that's twenty minutes. Twenty two minutes. Twenty two minutes. minutes. But, you a, but you have to do a half hour. And I think it's edited. Yeah, you can do even more than that. But yeah, they have to edit and it, and then the they edit it. Yeah. for yeah. commercials and shit. Damn. The the real getting thing, to an hour, you have to be on TV like a million times. Yeah, well, right? to work clubs. But here's yeah, yeah. here's what you do: you start a cum podcast. <laughs> you try to get an audience of like you know a hundred thousand people, and then you just book your own fucking tour. Yeah. You know, 2017, folks. Yeah, we're gonna do that that tour. We're also gonna do the Christmas album sometime this week, <laughs> before Christmas. <laughs> should, should we do it right after this? No, you know, and it's honestly, it's like it's, you have to use a computer. I've like looked into it. There's there's not gonna be any way that we can actually do this. <laughs> we can do it. I'm telling you right now, we cannot. We have some I don't good have ones, though, this dude. shit. You need to have playback. I need playback for the for the background tracks. I'm gonna need to auto tune it because none of us can sing. No, it's funnier that way. Come, 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 come. I have and it like doesn't and it, you know what it's gonna sound like? It's gonna sound like people doing a podcast over fucking like an instrumental track. It won't sound fine. right. What do you want it to sound like? Whitney Houston? It's not gonna sound it's gonna sound bad. I want it to sound no, I want it to at least sound not like, you know, uh, uh know disjointed and fucking you Jonah know. could do this for us. For I don't free. want Vote Jonah free. to do it. I want to do <laughs> it my fucking self. This is this is Nick in a in a in a nutshell here. We're not. Let's stop examining me. <laughs> I'm sorry. And my personality. And just tr- trust. We have I've... resources at our disposal. Whatever. We uh, don't have to get in an argument. Jonah's. Uh, Jonah was in a famous band. He was the Rolling Stones. Yep. Really. Yeah. Yeah. He was Keith Richards in the Rolling Stones. He was Jonah Richards. <laughs> yeah, Jonah Richards. Yeah. Uh, um, do you know the Rolling Stones are still making music? Like, who the fuck? Gives you're eating all my fucking cookies. Who cares? Shut the fuck up, dude. I'll give you some of mine. You better. Yeah. I've been counting actually. How many um, you've had? The How Rolling, many? The Rolling Stones. <laughs> you literally had three one, browns. Two, <laughs> three. Oh, three browns. The browns oh, is a good one. Yeah, he had three browns. The best. What about nine. that gelt I gave you the other night? <laughs> you gave me three gelts, and I gave them to a girl. I really she... did. I really <laughs> gave him gelt the other night. 
Nick and I were at, what? at a socialism party. Oh man, I'm so jealous I missed that. And then I gave him, I gave a girl. Why? Why? Did you guys money. fuck any commies, no, dude? What not. do you mean? <laughs> yeah, first of all, you wouldn't have. Yeah, huh, dude? No, I'm you a fucking wouldn't. alpha. I go in there, they smell my you, fucking no, pheromones. You look like and the fucking. Immediately they want to You look fuck. like the, 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 the caricatures of. The fat cats. No, you look I'm a like union the guys guy. That, hey, no, I'm a union guy. Like yeah. a, I'm a strong a New Yorker worker. cartoon. All you're missing is the Monopoly man. No, I'm the blue. Pick, I'm a blue collar boy, dude. Picket boy. I'm a blue collar alpha male, and I go. I go in there. I fucking all the proletariat whores want to suck uh-huh. me off left and right. Yeah, because they feel that I come from there's a, a working there's class There's a Bruce Springsteen song about Stav about how he missed McDonald's breakfast. <laughs> <laughs> it's on is Nebraska. Up too late? Yeah. <laughs> well, I missed breakfast this morning, and that's all. All right, <laughs> because there's gonna be breakfast tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, dude, I'm the boss. Exactly. I've got type two diabetes. I have to wear sweatpants because Levi's doesn't make anything in size 112 waist. <laughs> Dude, I honestly don't appreciate how you're coming at me right now as an alpha, and I'm gonna let you know I'm gonna knock you the fuck out if you ever fucking if my if my mouth if your words my fucking name comes yeah, out of your mouth you put again, my name in your mouth I'm again? gonna knock you out, dude. Yeah, don't if ever you place because alpha is my my name. Don't you ever put every inch of my name. <laughs> if you just slide my name <laughs> you slide, into you your mouth, we keep your name, name. <laughs> slid slidden in and outside of your mouth <laughs> within the confines of your lips. If you my s- name ever shall pass do not do not it's like sir are you still threatening me if you ever insert my name with your soft supple lips if you ever suck my name off (laughs) slobbering you ever slob on my name on my my name name. out your ass (laughs) why don't you keep your name out my ass Keep keep naming my ass. <laughs> name my ass something look at pretty me, and Look fuck at me it. right now. What's I'm my gay. ass's name? <laughs> <laughs> fuck me in the ass. I'm a closeted homosexual. The first time I was told that by We Know Who said that to me, keep my name Voldemort. out your mouth. Voldemort. Um, I, ha- I, I wasn't really sure what he was saying. Yeah. <laughs> I, was, I was pretty confused. I was like... <laughs> <laughs> It is funny. To I heard. Like, I heard you had my name in your mouth. That's like a. That's like the kind of thing that like Martin would say to Tommy. Oh yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, Keep my name out of your mouth, Tommy. Those 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 individuals are from similar. Martin was such a dick to his friends. Eras. Why the fuck did Tommy and Cole hang out with Martin? That's true. You just like criticize him for being dumb and bald, and yeah. it's like Martin, you're shorter than him. Well, Martin was you're not a particularly radio host, dude. A success. He's like a like a was fucking he? no. He was like a public radio shithead. Oh, I thought he had the juice from. Wait, the, Martin was on show. NPR. Uh, no, yeah, yeah. in the show Martin, he was like a like a he's like a local DJ or some shit. Yeah, but that's big time in a fuck like in, Baltimore, in Detroit. Local, local right? DJs. Isn't Martin in Detroit? I don't or fucking DC? remember. I feel bad now. I know the like establishing shots are probably in New York. Um, I've, in my head, I always thought Martin was in New York, but I, w- I wouldn't be surprised if that was wrong. I think, I think it's it is Detroit. Detroit. I think it is Detroit. Yeah. But he's from D.C. But dude, a local radio DJ, they got the juice. Yeah. Pork yeah. Chop, 92Q. Pork Chop fucks in Baltimore. Well, uh, Tommy was a nuclear engineer. <laughs> <laughs> that sentence. <Huh? laughs> pork Chop fucks in Baltimore? Pork, pork Chop. I, th- I thought Tommy was a drug dealer. Isn't that what everyone says? Because he never had a job. Yeah, they're like, yeah, yeah you don't... <laughs> shut up, Tommy. Well, you he's don't a drug no dealer job. or is a nuclear engineer. I'd, I'd like but, to think... Highly of Tommy, and not just assume that a black man without a visible job is selling drugs. Maybe he has some kind of DOD clearance, and That's he can't talk it. about That's it. Yeah, it. he was a very dapper man. You know the style that Tommy wore a lot was like the NBA coach, like late nineties, which was yeah. the. Uh, the like T-shirt under the under Absolutely. the suit under the suit, suit and with, a T-shirt with a, a, with a, a very thin a thin chain. chain thin chain yeah. but like but the T-shirt was nice like, like the collar was thicker than a usual exactly t-shirt. that's how I'm trying to be it's in 2017. 2017 yeah yeah we need I to make so. some we need to make our style board for 2017 it's true I mean our, our initial goal for this podcast we still have not accomplished what, what was yeah. which was matching Adidas tracks that's true you know and it's what New Year's is oh in man they got yellow and red at Macy's now. Oh fuck! Oh. Oh, fucking, we can be ketchup and mustard. Oh. That'd be awesome, dude. Yeah. We need them engraved too, or is that or stitched? What's uh, the name embroidered? For? Embroidered? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> engraved. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you guys, you can't, you can't, we can't get them embroidered until you come up with a local name for your union, because you got to have that on the back. There. Six nine six nine. 
Sure. 420. We could get beat up, though, for like being <clears throat> fake, for stealing Union Valor. I want Valor. my shoe to say Capo on it. <laughs> like a El Jewish Capo regime. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You're, yeah, I want, I, I'm in the mafia now. I wanted to say Capo. Um, what's ba- Don is Capo what? Capo something. Capo regime. Capo regime. Capo regime is, is, uh, is I the think boss. the Don, yeah. And Capo is, is a general, no. right? A Capo is a captain. No, but yeah. Capo regime the, is the Capo fucking, regime is the top one. That's the boss, dude. No, that's the Don. Not, it's Don, no, Capo dude. regime. Ca- no. Yeah, Capo regime no, Capo is regime and then the full... No, 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 no. I... I, I was looking at this the other day. All right, we don't Literally. care anymore. So <laughs> no, Consiglieri out. is nah, not on the tree. It's a, it's to the off. side because yeah. he has a direct line to the to Absolutely. the bo- to the bush. <clears throat> yeah, it's Capo. Anyway, I'm gonna be Capo. First of all, nah, I can't wait to be in the mafia, dude. I'm gonna Shoot change my shit up. Yo, you got. I mean, you don't need to change much up. Just uh, I just like kill someone, killing I think. people and stuff. It seems tough. Murdering someone seems like a hard bridge to cross. I was reading about the Sopranos the other day. David Chase, like, found out how much, like, the head of a crime family in North Jersey makes and, like, wanted Tony's character to make that much. And, like, mm. so that's how he wrote the show. Like, he didn't make that much money. I think he made, like, one and a half million, two, two no, million dollars a year. he made way more than that's, that. That's what he said. Really? Yeah, yeah. And, and I'm surprised it's that it, much money. From like what? So many people had to die stealing garbage truck contracts. <laughs> yeah. I thought you were about to say that he makes like uh, like one hundred and fifty thousand dollars. <laughs> no, 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 no. Yeah. No, he had that house in North Cal- Caldwell. It's, yeah, it's dude. a nice house. He was buying. Yeah, beach but you property. can have a mortgage on that. That's no, why. there's no I mortgage. That's cash. a cash deal. I pay cash. Cash. Um, no, no. I I think they, they said it was like two and a half million dollars. Okay, year. that's not that much. But Holy for a shit. boss, yeah, yeah. For yeah. and also for like a fucking body count of maybe one hundred fifty, two hundred people a year. It's also funny for how, one guy yeah, to make that yeah, much yeah, money. Yeah. It's such a waste of time. It's also I love how they'll just kill people in broad daylight, and it's just like just walk away. Yeah, and that's oh, how yeah. you deal with that. That's fucking insane. I was talking with my friend about it, but like what it comes down to, I think with these with the mafia guys is like. I think that they do all these crimes and they, they they kill people and they like run all these rackets because most of their day isn't spent doing crimes. Most of their day is hanging out in the back right. of a strip club it's or a, a porn store. Time. It's just to have a clubhouse with your friends. Absolutely, it's just so they kill, can be, you have to kill. It's so they can be frat so it's boys. like a podcast. It's yeah, basically it's like a, podcast. a podcast. Yeah, yeah. The mafia is we're basically That's in the what mafia. We I mean, are. <laughs> I'm like sitting here next to those <laughs> <laughs> <was> merchandise yeah. <laughs> in my shitty apartment. Fell off the back of a <laughs> truck. Tr- trash everywhere. Yeah. <laughs> Some expensive merchandise. Yeah. Yeah. We really do live like mobsters, boys. Yeah, kinda. I mean, I got a fucking Vitamix. Yeah. I, I bought a couple. A big ticket. To- I got a giant TV. I was questioned by the FBI last year. <laughs> Everybody's trying to fuck with me on social media. Yeah. <laughs> oh, also, a lot of people are asking on uh, Twitter this week about me not getting paid by the show. It's true. I don't get paid by the show. I'm just and glad, does it for the love glad of the I game. can be here. Nick's saying that potentially it is kind of an internship. we could re-examine 2017. Is, are you going to say that on the show, that we could re-examine... Uh, my status. Well, you're you you got you got free agent status this year. What so do you mean free agent? If, if another podcast wants to scoop yeah, you up, they I mean, want to sign you. Yeah. Well, we might I have mean, to I sign have had some. No, no. Prior to this, you were under contract. I got <laughs> for under zero contract dollar, for zero dollars. He gave you a zero dollar contract, <laughs> but you couldn't in a four year deal. But uh, you know, you said there was a bonus for laughs, but I haven't I haven't hit. You the haven't bonus. had one joke go over yet. Yeah, in the, all the, the, the entire episodes. time. Yeah, uh-huh. I haven't said one. You good haven't joke. said one joke that went over. All right. Yeah, when I said free agent, I meant free as in we don't pay any money. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah. Agent is also just another word for Jew. I don't know. Yeah, it's yeah. just a synonym. Maybe yeah. I get picked like up manager by manager or yeah. fucking uh, accountant. Yeah, exactly right. Yeah. <laughs> well, you know, I'm not a very good Jew if I'm not making any money. That's right. You know, absolutely. You're bad. <laughs> I'm the worst guy. That's absolutely correct. <laughs> <laughs> you know, but to tangle with a good Jew, I mean, they would outdo us. Yep. They would out negotiate us, dude. A good Jew would be getting all the money while we're over here like assholes. Uh, that'd be great if we wrote a sketch and then and we go into Adam's apartment in the sketch and it's just filled with menorahs, <laughs> <laughs> just to the brim. <laughs> oh, what's up, guys? <laughs> <laughs> the closet's yarmulkes is just nothing but fucking yarmulkes come out. Yeah. And Greek, like, Stav's house is just a bathroom. <laughs> just a big bathtub a filled, bath. with, filled with little boys. <laughs> it's a bathtub with 35 boys in it. Oh, hell yeah, dude. 
As long as they're feeding me grapes, dude. Yeah. Well, Greeks' colors are the bathroom colors. Blue and white. Blue and white. They love the bathroom. Yeah. Oh, yeah, dude. Is that bathroom colors? Blue yeah, and white? Yeah, it is. They look at the koala care station. Yeah, it's, it's just like the white. Greek flag, basically. Yeah. Koala, also a Greek animal. Mm-hmm. It's true. Not Australia. What's right? What's Australia? No, I said koalas <laughs> are not Australian. The Greeks brought what's, them there. What's Australia? Aust- okay, so <laughs> there is... Okay, south... Of East Asia, uh-huh. there's like this island, right? But it's so fucking big that it's a this continent. This dude thinks he's so smart. Okay. <laughs> You've heard of Australia. <laughs> now you're going to fucking talk down fucking, to us? Yeah, tell us about... Aust- Asia, you're saying shit like Southeast? Yeah. We didn't ask you about directions, I'm just dude. saying, imagine, How, imagine an island imagine that's so Adam, big that imagine, it's a fucking continent. <laughs> imagine Adam. And a That's country. every continent. No, no, that's no. That's every no. continent. Every there's continent another is an one, island, dude. There's imagine another Adam one called meeting, Australia. meeting someone that legitimately didn't know Australia and how excited he would be. <laughs> To tell them that he knows about Australia. Well, first of all, I would adjust my he'd glasses. Be, he'd, be, <laughs> second of all. he'd be standing at that bus stop for four and a half days. And be like, yeah, no, it's got a pouch. <laughs> no, it is actually you throw the it, baby. It comes right the back. baby comes mm-hmm. out and cr- crawls its way into the pouch. Yeah. Okay, so England at a certain point yeah. took all of their whores and criminals, right, and then they sent them down. To this island Sounds continent. like my kind of place Yeah 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 Hey they got yeah. whores over there Yeah yeah It was like a yeah. It was like a uh, That's 1800- why the Dundalk accent Is so similar to an Australian <laughs> yeah. It's true It's true <laughs> Because They are the Dan, descendants Dan of- Under It used to be hey, Dan, Dan Dundalk Dan Under Dan Under Dan Dundalk Down Under There Dan, you go well, Dundalk Under the, yeah. Dundalk was actually founded by A group it How was weird would it be slaves. If there was just For <laughs> some Australian reason slaves. From Australia For some yeah. reason Indigenous marsupials in Dundalk <laughs> that they just also had kangaroos and shit That'd for some so reason awesome. they're like yeah I like them cause it you know they look like me <laughs> they're very bottom heavy <laughs> from all the fried chicken <laughs> you know they eat nothing but chicken boxes so they got a they're very bottom they got a you know, pouch I got a pouch <laughs> yeah. it's the front of my fucking Jinko cut off shorts <laughs> I got a big pocket <laughs> oh my god yo Yo, a lot of shit, yo. Yeah, that's the thing. Yeah, Outback Steakhouse. I've been seeing New York girls wearing Jinkos recently. Oh, really? Yeah, they're like kind of coming back. <laughs> Ironically, I'm I stoked suppose. for the Jinko shorts, where it's like it could be pants, but then it just comes up right above the ankle. I was never a that's Jinko what makes boy. It. I was oh, told no, those I, are called boyfriend style jeans. Really? Oh, boy, boyfriends? Yeah. Wait a wait your a boyfriend yeah. in corn. Wait, wait to not have your uh, your pants past the Bechdel desk, you <laughs> fucking bitch, <laughs> <laughs> you idiot. <laughs> you fucking idiot. How dare those motherfuckers, dude? Yeah, you should be ashamed of yourself wearing boyfriend pants. Why don't you wear uh uh you know, proud proud uh media job female pants. Absolutely. You know? Yeah. Woman We're who pays blogger. her own fucking rent by yeah. blogging pants. Yep. Yeah. That's a woman I could respect. You know what's always really funny to me is when a girl uh, makes calls her boyfriend her par- her partner. I love that. He yeah. has to just sit there like. He well, we're it's, from Texas. It's cool. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> this is my life partner. <laughs> well, I'm not gay. We're cowboys. <laughs> I always like to imagine that when, a, I saw when my, gay people are like, "Yeah, this is my life partner." I'm like, "Oh, you're." From Texas, <laughs> you guys are both from Texas with each other. Howdy, yeah, yeah we're yeah. both from Texas. <laughs> I saw my. Thank you for for being gay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, me and my friend here are going to be from Texas all night tonight. If <laughs> yeah. y'all want to leave us alone, these two Texan fellers <laughs> yeah. came over. They redecorated. They're wearing all silver and turquoise jewelry. <laughs> Man, I put on. Uh, I don't know how they do it in Texas. <laughs> I put on uh, breakfast at Tiffany's the other night. <laughs> oh yes, holy shit, Mickey Rooney. I can't. Uh, I would so love good. to rewatch that, dude. Mickey. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Lisa Goldright Reed. <laughs> there's videos of him going over to like entertain the troops in World War II, and he would just do that. He would just go over Hell yes. to entertain the troops in World War II Hell and yes. act like a bumbling fucking Chinaman, you know, Japanese guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 He had to change it for the troops. He yeah, had to make him. Ch- it was a really subtle change. He had to work yeah. really hard <laughs> to change it from Chinese Lisa to Gold Japanese. Right, Reed. Man, he used to have be able to have such a killer career. Beloved entertainer. Did you see No yeah, problem with yeah, yeah. Fucking uh, There was this interview <laughs> You know who's worse than him Andy Rooney Anybody, Wait, anybody The guy anybody? from 60 Minutes Yeah 
But he's, that's his brother? No, no, no. The, yeah, the, the, uh, also a racist Irish piece of shit. Oh yeah, he's, he's a, a racist. Uh, the piece fact of shit. that the fact that Andy Rooney had a career and all he did was you know be like, I, I go to the bodega and I buy a cookie and it comes wrapped and I don't understand that. I don't want to unwrap the cookie. I want to eat it. Why <laughs> is it coming in a wrapper? And people are like, this is hilarious. <laughs> Wait, people thought it was funny. Is that's that what why that he was had supposed to be. It was a humorous. He was a humorous. Piece? Yeah. People oh, sit there just, and fucking laugh at that. Wow. Yeah. Keyboards, that is worse than racism. The alphabet has too many letters. Yeah, just <laughs> complaining. You know who I think was really you bad? literally grind my gears, the family guy thing. That yeah, it's grind funny. my gears. Yeah. yeah. You know who I think was really bad? Uh, Jerry Lewis. Yeah. Everyone was like, yeah, he was a fucking... Oh, yeah, he just acted like... A, he would act like a retarded person. Yeah, he was just a Vine star yeah. before Vine. That's, so he would come out yeah. on stage <laughs> and fucking, you know, Dean Martin would stand there and smile and then Jerry Lewis would like cross his eyes and pretend like he was <laughs> shitting his pants. And everyone would be like, he's the goofy one and Dean's the guy that's not funny at all. So he's funny in comparison because he's acting like a fucking, you know, mongoloid. Yeah, he got right. a career off of funny faces. Yeah, that's why he had you, to care about kids. You know about to give the, a shit about kids in the end because he was just making fun of people with disabilities. You know about time. that Holocaust movie. He yeah, made. he released some of the footage. Well, he said he never would. And he it's going to come out Hell it's yeah. because he sold it to the Library of Congress, was it? Yeah, well, here's the thing. It probably isn't even worth watching. Oh, it's, apparently it's a disaster. I know, I know it was a disaster. and didn't want to release it, but I mean, it's you know every movie Seagal has made past 1996 has been a fucking disaster, right. of course. And it, those are barely watchable, even though I'm going in expecting them to be fucking shitty, horrendous. Mm -hmm. I don't even, I don't think this movie is going to have any kind of value to it whatsoever in terms of watching it and getting yeah. something out of it. I tried to watch uh, one of those Crispin Glover movies that where he had like it's all just people with mental disabilities, mm -hmm. and it's f unbearable. And you can't watch it. <laughs> yeah, there's, yeah. No, there's no point to it. <laughs> Dude, Jerry Lewis, there is an interview this week with him, the Hollywood Reporter, and he was just being a fucking prick yeah. to the to the interviewer. And everyone's like, wow, isn't it so cool he hates interviews? And it's like, no, he's the funny face guy right, is right, right. being mean. Well, also, apparently he stole that from somebody. Like, there was some guy... He stole from, from a Bill retarded Belichick. person. He yeah. stole from retarded people. <laughs> No, there was some guy whose like thing was being that character, that oh, uh, that like Jimmy, oh yeah, like, that guy, the, yeah, yeah, and he just I don't remember his name, but yeah, he just stole he the stole only his thing essence. I fuck with uh, J Jerry Lewis thing I fuck with is King of Comedy. King of Comedy so yeah. good, and he's and good in it too. Yeah, because he's playing yeah. a fucking prick, right? And he's he gets a to be real, and he's yeah. a prick. Yeah. De Niro's yeah. so funny in it too. De Niro is well, that's apparently my when they were when they were making that movie because uh, both De Niro and Scorsese embraced method acting, they were would fucking call. Jerry Lewis a kike to his face <laughs> on set <laughs> because they were like he's not getting angry enough Jesus, in this movie yeah really? so they were like yeah we're just gonna keep calling him a kike and say Santa semitic shit to him yeah make Holy him angry shit. he he also had a different name uh what the character which is so great because it's probably like he was just sucking. And then they said all that, and they were like, oh, it's to do um, uh, method acting. Yeah. <laughs> Someone we overheard were, them. That's why we were saying that to him, is, is because of, uh, you know, the fucking uh, Meisner yeah. method. Yeah. They couldn't work. Uh, they were not, a, not racist Italians. Yeah, 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 no, it's, doing because, coke. it's because this uh, Strasbourg kite, I mean, the Strasbourg guy, uh, fucking, you know, Lee, uh, whatever. They you couldn't know, work together t until Goodfellas. Lee they, Strasberg they, like, took uh, 15 years apart. They fucking. De Niro and Scorsese. After that, after it was like too, so taxing. Uh, and like fucking Lee Strasberg. Uh, uh, have you ever seen him act? No. Is he bad? Yeah, not a particularly good actor. That's he just hilarious. came up with a good He's idea. He's in the background. In he, he plays a minor role in. Uh, and is it Strasberg? Strasberg is a big method guy. The right? method guy. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. I think it's him because there's a couple of them. There's Meisner, Strasberg, mm -hmm. um, and then there's like one other. They'd be like the big, you know, acting coaches. But yeah, I think it was Strasburg. It plays like a, a, a an old... Del Close. Yeah, an old uncle or something in, in Justice for All, which is a pretty good movie. Yeah, a good movie. Yeah. Uh, which, by the way, is directed by Norman Jewison, who I found out is... Not Jewish. Not Jewish. <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah. Not Jewish. Yeah. 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 <laughs> of course I looked that yeah, up. Yeah. Norman Jewison? <laughs> yeah. I mean, I just assumed he was Jewish because he's a director. Right, yeah. you he know, works in Hollywood. Right, no, he's not Jewish. Adam Goldberg, Hebrew Hammer. Yeah, not Jewish. What? Shut not up. Not Jewish. No, all right, swear to God. No, you're trolling. I swear to God. He's like half Jewish. He's like Jewish his dad's Jewish, but he like does not consider himself Come to be Jewish on, at all. That face is Jewish, dude. I don't know. Yeah, his last name's Goldberg. 
His last name's Goldberg. He does that shit. Yeah. Yeah. But he's not Jewish on a technicality. It's not yeah, a guy named not... Norman Jewison. No, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> he's Norwegian. What is he? Yeah. Oh, okay, all yeah. right. Does no. he look Jewish? Uh, he I've never seen him. Uh, he's, he's like an old man. I always co- uh, confuse him and uh, uh, Barry Levinson. Barry Levinson mm-hmm. is Jewish. Yeah. Baltimore. Yeah. Well, Diner, Justice for baby. All is also shot in Baltimore. Oh, really? I yeah. haven't seen that one. It's pretty good. It's uh, it's uh, Al Pacino as a uh, defense attorney. Mm-hmm. And he's trying. Oh, to get, I've seen that. No, no, that is good. He's trying yeah, to get yeah. his like trans client off, and then she kills herself in prison. Right. Is that uh, you're out of you're order. out of order? The whole damn system's out of order. Right, right. And then he fucks that. All those movies from the seventies is like the love interest is like a. I'm a businesswoman. <laughs> I've got shoulder pads and size negative. I've got triple A breasts and shoulder pads, and I'm taller than Al Pacino. <laughs> One of those yeah. professional, professional style. What, they're I like, she smokes man. cigarettes and she's divorced. Right. Yeah. Right, after being divorced was meant that <gasps> she was ruined forever. Right. And I have raccoon style f- makeup on. Yeah. Oh, yeah uh, they're being sexy. The ki- the queen of all of them, obviously. Glenn. Glenn. Yeah. Glenn in Fatal Attraction. Yeah, she looked like she was dragged through a bush. It's crazy. Yeah. <laughs> Before that. Yeah. You know what calms those businesswomen down is some good dick. <laughs> that's, that's what the, that's the moral of the story is. It's just a man dicking them down. Yeah, when I was an executive assistant. Your old roommate the, had that businesswoman vibe. Who at? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. She's, she's going to be one of those businesswomen. She is. She is. I she guess. told me how much she's making for her first year yeah. at the yeah, law firm, us. and I started laughing, like, not as a bit, like, just laughing in her face. Yeah. Yeah. She yeah. was like, uh, yeah, so they they raised uh, opening salary to uh, 30%. And I was like, so how much are you making? And I legitimately expect her to be like $65,000. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So she's making like $190,000. My, my cousin, right. I had lunch with my first year. <laughs> I had lunch with my cousin. What? Yeah. He works in advertising. I had lunch with him. He's a year, like a year younger than me. He works in advertising. I had lunch with him. And I was like, yeah, it's pretty, you know, my podcast is making like decent money now. And he's like, congrats, dude. That's fucking awesome. That's fucking, that rules, dude. And I was like, yeah, you started a new job, right? He's like, yeah, it's pretty good. It's like a smaller company. I'm like, but it's like a significant raise, right? He's like, yeah, I'm making pretty good money. It's like just shy of 200000 a year. <laughs> and I was like, holy shit. You know, it's so much money. And I, I just feel like a piece of shit, yeah. you know, and fucking, uh, but I like, I see my aunt occasionally, you yeah, know, yeah. we'll have like lunch and stuff. And she's like always bitching about him like borrowing money from her. What? <laughs> like, really? Yeah, he still like hits her up. He's like, "Can I get like two hundred bucks?" <laughs> wow. Yeah, I don't know. I think how's that even possible? He's probably just like he's, he's probably, probably just used to being he makes two hundred thousand dollars a year. He's, he's a still, millionaire. He just still takes money from yeah, from crazy. his mom. He's used to getting presents from his mom, dude. Yeah, uh, I never, We were you, never a p- presents household. Oh, hell no, I would get toys to bribe me. Like if I had to get a shot or some shit, and I was good, and he had to get, get a, a lot toy. of shots, dude. I yeah. started getting. Uh, <laughs> hey, look at him; he's filled with shots. <laughs> I'm actually I weigh 105 pounds, but this is all really shots. it's yeah. all like yeah. uh, it's all swelling from shots. This is all plants? testosterone because I am yeah. an alpha. So actually, it's estrogen because I have too much testosterone in my system. <laughs> yeah, so yeah, I'd be too alpha. I'd yeah. fuck everything. I've up, got these so. breasts from having too much testosterone. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's why I have them. <laughs> yeah. You can so. make fun of my bitch tits, but it's actually from being strong. It's from so. being strong. My yeah, my genitals, dysfunction. my genitals are uh, uh, have shrunk like a raisin. <laughs> <laughs> they yeah, they they basically shriveled up. I've got like what looks like a fucking chewed on uh, swizzle stick. You it's know? from having more where my dick used to be, and it's from being strong. It's from you know, it's from being. It's from strong. deadlifts. I, I deadlifted my way into a, into a fuckless dick. <laughs> into an inoperable, fuckless little pigtail dick. I'm going to get my fucking dick. Uh, do you see those guys that like inject silicone and they just have the biggest, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. dicks of That's all time? That's the fucking funny Wait, does shit. It ruin? You can't use your dick. You know what, you know what your dick you looks like? You know what shit? those dicks look yeah, like? Yeah. It looks like those things they used to sell at like the Discovery Channel store. <laughs> it's like little water <laughs> tubes. It's like little water tubes. Yeah, you put yeah, your finger yeah. in one hand. It's one exactly. of those guys. Yeah, the, the, the yeah. dick has Head, yeah. like fluffs up it looks and you like can put your finger in the it, middle of it yeah their dick looks like somebody took a grand's roll and slammed it against the kitchen counter <laughs> what's the kink where you like things going in your pee hole sounding sounding mm, that's yeah. what sound off means in the comments <laughs> sounding off is when you keep shoving things in your dick hole Everybody you sound know. off yeah oh fuck i got to i got to pee I gotta take a shit, but we're out of time for this oh, episode. Oh, great. Yeah, we're already Well, okay, like- sorry, guys. Um, our show uh, is on Monday, the 26th. If you're in New York, uh, come, hang. come hang out. We got a really good lineup so far. 
uh, it's just it's the it's the stars really are going to be shining bright uh, on Monday night. T- the twenty sixth, come on, everybody. Little Wardo will be there. Uh, Brandon Wardell, our our best friend, will be there. <laughs> yeah. Um, and um, yeah, we have, it's going to be a great show. Come out to that shit, bitch. Yeah. Also, watch for me on Red Eye, January fifth or something. <laughs> I tape it on the fifth. I don't know when it'll be on, but Set actually, your DVR. Please, don't actually don't. Uh, <laughs> I'm not proud of any of my appearances on that show. <laughs> Um, I'm kind of uh, like uh, now even more nervous about associating with Fox News. Yeah, yeah, shit, yeah. Especially, you know, going on with Gavin and those kind of guys. But we had fun on Ant's show, that I was think. Fun. Yeah. You know, and he's, he's, uh, he's, uh. Oh, yeah, I got, yeah. We talked about the, the porn star. Yeah. So, uh, my wife, elegant. you know, yeah. for better or worse. Hey, you know what? MSNBC won't put me on TV. So, Fox, <laughs> Fox News it is. I well, guess. Sav is doing Maddo actually next week. Yeah. yeah. I'm going to be on Rachel Maddo. Yeah, yeah, he's going to be on Rachel Maddow. Maddow. He's going to be like, so, so Rachel, you fucked recently? Yeah. Yo, give me some pussy eating tips, Rach. Yeah. I know you got them secret dikey <laughs> pussy eating tips. I'm trying to figure those out, you know. How you do that shit with your tongue, yeah? Get your tongue going in between all your teeth and shit and t- t- tickle their fucking pussies. And we're out of time. All right. All right. Thanks, Bye, guys. Bye, bros.